let's talk about now renal tubular acidosis. Renal tubular acidosis, um, they are the disorders of the renal tubules that cause norm normal anion, anion gap metabolic acidosis. Okay, so there are the, uh, the, the there are three types: type one, type two, and type four. We have the distal renal tubular acidosis (RTA) type one, RTA meaning renal tubular acidosis type one, proximal renal tubular acidosis (RTA) type two, and hyperkalemic tubular acidosis (RTA) type four. What is the de defect here? Well, for the um, RTA type one. We have the inability of alpha intercalated cells to secrete hydrogen, leading to no new bicarb is generated, leading to metabolic acidosis. Inability of alpha intercalated, intercalated cells. Uh, that's the defect for RTA type 1, leading to metabolic acidosis. Okay. When you have metabolic acidosis, what's going to be the urine pH? Well, urine pH is greater than 5.5. Okay, and think about it is metabolic, metabolic acidosis. And serum potassium is decreased. And if you recall, when we, when we said, when you talk about how the potassium shifts, and we said if you have acidosis it's going to shift that into cells i hope that's what it was well it's the opposite in acidosis it's going to shift out of the cell the potassium right so when we shift that potassium out of the cell We have low potassium. Potassium? Well, I don't know how, but uh, let's just move on. What are the causes? The causes are amphotericin B, toxicity, analgesic nephropathy, and congenital anomalies, obstruction of the urinary tract, autoimmune disease, SLE. Uh, associations increase risk of calcium phosphate kidney stones due, due to increased calcium, my bad, increased urine pH, and bone turnover related to buffering. So that's good to have uh, a nice image at the bottom. And uh, inability of the alpha intercalated cells. So there is inability of the alpha intercalated cells to have to secrete hydrogens. So they can't secrete hydrogens. So when you can't secrete hydrogen, so no new bicarb is secreted in the blood leading to metabolic acidosis okay and who caused all of this all these things but let's talk about the uh, proximal renal tubular acidosis type 2 it is proximal tubular right the proximal tubular is in the PCT bicarb resorption there's a defect in PDT bicarb resorption leads to increase in excretion of bicarb in urine. Here we had no net bicarb generation. Here we have excretion of bicarb in urine, again leading to metabolic acidosis. Urine can be acidified by alpha-chelated cells in the collecting tubule, but not enough to overcome increased bicarb excretion. Decrease in... Um, in the urine pH with less than 5.5 and plasma bicarb below reduced resorption threshold. Increase in 5.5 when filtered bicarb exceeds resorption threshold. Uh, in overall, you have the theorem uh, potassium low, only increased in the RTA type 4. Uh, seen in Fankini syndrome, multiple myeloma, carb carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. Uh, associations are increased risk of hypophosphate, phosphate, uh, hypophosphate, phosphatemic rickets 
seen in Fankini syndrome. So again, looking here, what's happening is in RTA type 2, you cannot reabsorb that that uh, bicarb. So when you can't reabsorb that bicarb, you are going to cause metabolic acidosis, right? Going on the RTA type 4, what do we have? Hypoaldosteronism or aldosterone resistance, hyperkalemia leading to decrease in NH3 synthesis in the PCT causes decrease in NH4 excretion. With the name they said hyper Kalemia. So we already know there is more potassium. That's why we have increase in potassium. And all the rest we have decrease in potassium because they haven't mentioned the name hyperkalemia. Just to, you know, something um, so that we can key, stick the information in head. Just mentioning it. Then you have the tubular acidosis, all of that, right? So let's read. We have... Uh, Decrease in aldosterone production, diabetic um, hyporinism, ACE inhibitors, ARBs, NSAIDs, heparin, cyclosporine, adrenal insufficiency, aldosterone resistance, potassium sparing diabetics, nephropathy due to obstruction, uh, uh, trimethoprine, and sulfamethoxazole. Uh, here, what you have is basically primary defectors, aldosterone, right? So you have NH3 production, that NH3 goes out, and in the inter intercalated cells, aldosterone inhibits the potassium, okay? So you have a problem in NH3 and also in the potassium, so causing hyperkalemia because you can't push it here. So that's uh, all for the renal tubular acidosis.